Hello, hello again. So this is take three on this video. Take one, I was updating the firmware on the original PIP and I caught the exact moment that this was finished updating and unfortunately I was I just ran out of batteries and I didn't save that video. And now part number two was when I set them up that says the master and this one as the slave and that was just when I was turning this one on. This is the new pip. And my daughter came into the room screaming. So I cut that video out as well. Anyways. So now they're running in parallel. They seem to be sharing the load. Although there's a very little load now. It's about 150 watts. That's probably the load there. Take away the two PIP self-consumption. So it's about 150 watts of load. So it's very little load. See, load and load, and now I'm just about to turn on the water heater, and we'll see how much does that load goes up to. You can see it's a 1500 watts water heater, so you can see it's setting on at about 700 and some odd watts. It's the original pip. And this is the new PIP. And it also setting on at around 750 watts. As we can see, pushing all the available solar power into the batteries. 1200 watts. And now finally I get a chance. This is the first time I'm doing this going to be turning this breaker on and this breaker is uh, 1500 watts of solar power that goes into the new PIP so I'll turn that on and see how it goes about lowering this wattage from the kid on Okay, maybe I'm missing a wire there. Now there you go. Solar symbol is on. Should start solar charging very soon. Again, this is the first time I have turned the PV on this new kid. There you go. PV wattage should be going up here in a few seconds. There you go. Let's see if you can pull close to a thousand watts. There you go. Looking good, looking good. I think that's the power you can take from the panels right now. It's around 900 watts. And so this is the PIP. Charging the batteries back to float MPP3. Beautiful stuff. I had the the Whizbang Junior there was was not reading it was reading a sixty amp it was reading a 60 amp charge on the battery when I first turned the system on yesterday. So I did a factory reset and then I finally realized that uh, one of those screws there, they weren't all the way tightened down. So I had to take this one off and tighten that down and now I have a 
perfect shunt rating. As you can see, 11, 11.29 from this charger and about 900 watts from here so they sum up to to 1800 watts and that's that's the total system load right now you can see 700 700 here we can see a little better there you go 1500 watts uh, this is the total load with each pip pushing in around 700 watts you can see this this charger I think now is in the driver's seat it's pushing all its solar power into the batteries as you can see before the kit was in solar was in float MPPT and now it's just floating that means you can push more than those 1100 watts if needed the fair is slowly charging the batteries there all right so again this is uh how see how i titled this this video anyways so i still for tomorrow i still need to connect i have two strings here 1500 watts of panels in this string and 750 watts of panels in this string and that's going to feed the original pip here i have them all set upstairs i just need to connect the last piece of wires but they're all wired up All right, it turned out to be a slightly long video. Thank you for watching and have a nice sunny day, everyone. It is a beautiful sunny day out here today. Little scattered clouds, but we're, we're, we're happy. Happy. Goodbye.